In this problem, we want to find the uh, zeros for each polynomial function and give the multiplicity for each zero. So let's start there. So we've got f of x is equal to negative 2 times x minus 3 and x plus 2 squared. First part, find the zeros. Well, I mean to set it equal to zero and solve. So we've got negative 2 x minus 3, x plus 2 squared, and it's equal to 0. Zero factor property it says you get 0 on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. Remember, it never does this any good to set a number equal to 0. So I'm going to set the x minus 3 equal to 0, and the x plus 2 is equal to 0. So we get x is equal to 3, and x is equal to negative 2. And those are our zeros. Now for our multiplicity. Uh, if I were to put a power on this x minus 3, it'd be the first power. And remember, the exponent up here tells you how many you have. So the second power here means I have 2 for the multiplicity on the negative 2. And this 1 here means I have uh, 1 for the multiplicity on the x equals 3. Now, the last thing they're asking is where, whether it state whether the graph crosses the x-axis or touches the x-axis and turns around at each 0. Well, whenever you have a multiplicity of 2, uh, it's going to touch. So it touches. Now when you have multiplicity of 1, that crosses. Let's go graph this just to confirm that. So I press my y equals clear, negative 2, beginning parentheses, x minus 3. Close parentheses, beginning parentheses, x plus 2. Close parentheses, and then my x squared button, and then graph. And you can see at negative 2, it touches, which is uh, what we just said. And at 3, it just goes directly and crosses the x-axis. So those would be your answers.